Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to look at how to use send and return channels in Ableton Live. Send and return channels in a digital sense are very much like what you would find on an analog mixer, where you can send audio out, have it be affected, and then have the affected audio sent back into the mixer. So let's take a look at how you can do this in Ableton Live. First, you're going to want to go ahead and right click and then select insert return track. Now you'll see that we have created a return channel. Now on this particular channel, we can add any sorts of effects or effect racks that we like. So if we want, we can go ahead and add a beat repeat, maybe a frequency shifter, and finally, we'll put on an overdrive. Now by default, this isn't going to be affecting anything. What we need to do is send audio to this channel. To do that, you're going to want to use the send knobs on each audio channel or MIDI channel that you have. So you can see here that we have a sends knob, and all we have to do is turn this knob to the right to send audio to that return channel. So I've gone ahead and created a sample project here that illustrates just how important send and return channels can be to your productions or live performances. So in this example, I have three different return channels created. And on each of them, I have a different effect preset. So if you go to send A, you'll see that I have a compressor with a certain set of settings. On B, I have a compressor with different settings. And on C, I have a third compressor that has, once again, different settings. What I can do is now while I am doing my mix, I can play the audio through each individual channel. So by setting up the return channels like this, I have three different options for my compressor settings. And what's great is that I can send multiple tracks of audio through each of those channels without having to add the compressor onto each channel that I want to send to it. This will save you a lot of time between copying and pasting different effect presets from one channel to another. And it also saves you on CPU power because instead of having a compressor on each channel or let's say a reverb on each channel, you can just set up the reverb one time and then send all of the audio to that return channel. So that's a quick overview of the send and returns in Ableton Live. For more videos on Ableton Live, check out youtube.com slash the DJ podcast. Thanks for watching.